There's some unsettled business here. I'm not happy with the draw. Who's on it? Who's learned from the mistakes? Who's willing to go to the dark places? I know I am. At his age of 42 or <laughs> however old he is or something. <laughs> oh, ever the, always the comedian, you know. <laughs> Every opponent I've ever faced has hit the canvas. I can bang and I can follow up and I can get you out of there. Those things are guarantees. Next time I get into a boxing room for a bit of Wardley, I need to do my job and my hand needs to be raised at the end. Oh, this one's going to be a good one, isn't it? Live on the zone, October 12th, co-main event. Remember, it is for the British heavyweight title. Fabio Wardley, the champion, against Fraser Clark, the contender. The first fight was so good, we had to see it again. Gents, here we are again. I almost feel like um, with you two there, there must be a point where you're almost sick of the sight of seeing each other because you've been linked with each other for a long, long time, even prior to the first fight in March. Is there a case, and I'll, I'll go to you, Fraze, with this one. Is there a case of you kind of have got each other's respect now because of the 12-round war you had? I never did respect Fabio, you know. We didn't have a relationship beforehand, but we're in British boxing. We see each other at shows and stuff like that. It's never been, it's never been a case of being disrespectful towards him. I respect what he's done. It's just the same as any competitor. He's got something that I wanted. Build up to a fight. There's some needle, some back and forth, some things said. All of that really goes out of the window once you once you share twelve hellish rounds with someone. There's a there's a good level of respect there for it. You know, I've covered so many British title fights, right, from the small weights up into the heavyweights, and I've never seen a British title fight that's so split down the middle in terms of people's opinions on who's going to win this fight, just based on how the first fight was. Why do you think you win it this time round, Fabio? I'm the younger, the fresher fighter. There's more attributes to my game, which I can advance and I can improve on to bring into the next fight. I think that he's come from his that very strong, well-schooled ABA, GB squad background. He's boxed that same way, similar style for a good 10, 15, however many years of how they drill you to box. Do it this way, box that way, do it like this. And I think at his age of 42 or <laughs> however old he is or something, no. <laughs> oh, ever the, always the comedian, you know. <laughs> no, look, well, like 30 odd or whatever. I look, I just 33, think 30. 33, sorry. How, how old are you? 33. I'm old. 29. 29. Yeah. Sorry. That much I'm, older I'm than him. I'm that years much years older years. than him. Oh, yeah, all them four years going to make a difference, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the style that I have is, is the Fraser Clark style. It was never the GB style, like everyone's the individual. I just think I'm more, more teachable than Fabio. I think I can adapt better than Fabio. I definitely think I'm not as naive or as as cocky as Fabio. I think Fabio thinks he's world level when the reality is a guy that has had a handful of pro fights, he couldn't beat. Was it an easy decision to go at it again? Was it, you're the champion, right? I mean, you guys, you're the one that has the belts. Was it easy to say, okay, let's do it again? Or was there options to move on and, and fight someone else going a different direction. Yeah, look, I had two sides to it. I had I had the option to rematch and fight Fraser and I did have other other options. I got a multitude of belts. There's some unsettled business here. I'm not I'm not happy with the draw. Everyone has their goals, but for me, you know, the British clashes, the heavyweights. I think the first one was, was so good, you know, I'm just not even the fight, just the atmosphere, the build up. Who wouldn't want to do that again, you know, and um I think I think we suited each other really well. You know, we, we made a really good fight. You thought you won the fight? Yeah. I think I landed the cleanest shots, the more eye catching shots for the majority of the rounds. I mean, the point off and the knockdown definitely aided his case and it happened. But yeah, I just think I did I did the better work. Was he better than you expected or was that the fact that you trained for and prepared for? I think he had a better um a bit of a better IQ than than I thought he would have, you know. A lot got spoke about our backgrounds beforehand, yeah. you know, but um, one thing I, that I could tell from the fight is that, you know, he's a student. I could even hear him and see him in the fight, listening to the corner's instructions and trying to follow out what was trying to follow out what, what they were saying. So that, that's when you know, you know, someone is not just going to come forward throwing hands. You know what I mean? He was, uh, yeah, I'll give him that credit for that. He's, uh, he's more intelligent than I thought he was. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie or disagree and say it was a close fight because we both had good back and forth moments. But I would say if you split the fight down the middle, then that point deduction mixed with the knockdown, that that brings me out as a winner. 
I think that much is obvious. Only all that matters is we've ticked that one off and we're set up for round 13. Do you think a lot of people discredited your boxing ability? Obviously, the white collar background, everyone keeps bringing it up. Do you almost feel like you shut a few people up with your boxing performance? Look, I think my boxing credibility, ability has been discredited since the second I stepped into the sport. Coming from white collar, people immediately put the shortest of short ceilings on me. Along the way, every little person was, this is a step too far, this is a step too far, this is a step too far. You watch the Adelaide fight back, I outboxed him all the rounds and finished him up, cleaned him out at the end of that. With, with the fight with Fraser, there was a little bit of boxing in there, some good tactile skills for me, but I wore it out as well. So I've got all those attributes, I've proven them, they're there to, they're there to see, watch them back and, and look at them for yourself. I, ne I never I never once spoke about that. No, I'm not. I, I, I'm just saying, I never I once spoke about his background because I'm not naive, you know. This is professional boxing and I've been in the gym with, I've been in the gym with world champions that I've looked at and thought on a skill level, they ain't that great. But in terms of being tough, being fit and being able to fight, unbelievable. So professional boxing, you know, if, if, if you have them attributes, you know, you can go a long way. One thing we have seen with you, Fabio, is that when you have someone hurt, that that's it, right? And once you smell blood, kind of the fight gets over and done with very, very quickly after that. Would you surprise that you was able to put Fraser down and not get the job done? Uh, Here's the bell. No, because I put him down on the last second of the fifth round. He was able to get back up, have his minute recovery, come back into the sixth round, spit his gum shot out a couple of times, Garner a few seconds, Experience. some old, some old wily boxer tricks. Yeah, I was delayed in the process of getting people out, but you can see from my career, as soon as I have you hurt, you're getting out of that. Every opponent I've ever faced has hit the canvas. I can bang and I can follow up and I can get you out of that. Those things are guarantees. They're done. They're ticked off. Do you expect to get the stoppage this time around? Yeah, 1,000%. Yeah? 1,000%. Look, I had him going numerous times in the first fight. I had him hurt. I did. I followed up in the wrong way. I, lo I've, I looked at that back. I've analysed it. I rushed it a bit. I got too overeager. The occasion, the moment, I got a bit sucked into it. Really wanted to get him out of there. But I know I can damage him. He said himself, I hit hard. Yes, he knows that. So I can do it. It's just about following up properly. Fraser, you hit hard as well. Everyone. Hard enough. Hard that. enough, do you know what I mean? Like, we're heavyweights. We're big boys here. I don't think I've even fought anyone that doesn't doesn't hit hard, you know, especially like I said in them gloves. I just think it's, it's like I say, nothing but I just think it's a bit naive for him to think that he just he's just gonna blow me over like he did the first time, you know. What they see I didn't you know, say anything about blowing you over. No, but the way you're talking just like it's good, you're gonna turn up and just win. I'm gonna turn up and win. I didn't say I'm gonna blow you yeah. over though. I'm gonna turn yeah. up and win. Yeah. Like I, I, it's, you said, it sounded like you feel it's going to be an easy job. No, at all. Well, that's why. That's, that's, that's just the way it sounds. It's just the way it sounds. I just say things. I just say I'm going to turn up and win. It's just the way it sounds. What matters is October 12th. When that first ball goes, who's on it? Who's learned from the mistakes? Who's willing to go to the dark places? I know I am. I expect he is. But he's going to be clever when they're doing that. I believe I will. Do you think you can knock out Fabio? Yeah, absolutely. I think he'll walk onto one. He'll knock himself out. He'll walk onto the shot. You know, you, you had him hurt in the first fight. Yeah. Yeah. This is interesting. Um, did he? He didn't look. I was just a little bit tired. It's just, I was sure I'm taking a little break. You must look at the heavyweight landscape and think both of you in such a good position that the winner of this does go on to have incredibly big fights in 2025. Post this, good fight, good win, finish it off the options for me going forwards are going to be at the top, top level. Fight by fight, we take it. All right, guys, how does this play out? We're going to go with you, the champion first, Fabio. How does it play out October the 12th? Very similar to how I played out first time around. A war? A war. Ward Lee, for a reason. Get stuck in. Throw bombs, let him know I'm there, hurt him again, get him going, and just be a bit more clinical when I've got him on the going. Fraser, how does it play out for you? Come out of Southpaw, bounce around the ring, touch him up with a jab, Southpaw backhand, bang. You can that. do it, you're capable of doing it. Yeah, I can do it, I can box up if I wanted to. Yeah. Might we see a bit of that? Yeah, nice. You know, it's not, I think one thing we do know is that it's going to be an incredible fight. The first fight was fantastic and happy for both of you. 
Like a little more ching ching in the water as well <laughs> for this fight because it's well deserved. Handshake, come on, you guys have been good. Come on. Well done. Good luck to both of you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.